Hi, Mark Diaz here for 2dAnimation101.com. In this video, we're going to talk about shading tones. Okay, so this is something that developing the sensibility for it is probably going to be a little bit difficult and it can take some time, but know this, you can develop that sensitivity. How? Well, by practicing and then evaluating and then practicing again and then going, hmm, evaluating again, redoing and redoing. And with practice, remember, first you measure, then you feel it. That's how you build intuition. Okay, so let's talk about the shading. In this case, I'm going to share with you one of the exercises. This is the, actually the follow-up sheet of one of the lessons, right? And the shading, if you can look at it, uh, there are a couple of problems with this drawing, but as you can see, one of the things that is correct is the cleaning lines. The lines are clean. Maybe the shape of the circles for the iris is not properly done. And also the thickness is wrong because we need this line to be a little bit thicker, but it's clean. It's it compared with a sketch, this is actually pretty good. But the problem we are focusing on is the shading. It's just a couple of lines in here. That is wrong. The correct way to do this shading is to have a, to have the lines in this case because the, I cannot do much shading, is to have a darker part at the top, right? At the top should be darker, right? And the bottom should be lighter, okay? So in this case, you can see that the tone is basically almost the same and it's actually a little bit darker in this area. So the shading is wrong. Now, let's compare this with this other drawing delivered by Novile. As you can see, the exercise tells you that the top part should be a little bit darker and the lower part should be lighter. That was maintaining here. And the top is darker and the bottom is lighter. That's okay, that's correct. And if you're using not a pencil but a pen, the way you do it is that you just put the lines more closer together and when you want it lighter, you just have, leave more space in between the lines, right? So this is how you achieve that effect. So that's it for this lesson. Remember, the way you measure the shading is just noticing the part that is darker and noticing the part that is lighter. That's it. Just stop, visualize, reflect, and then say, hmm, this part is darker, and in my drawing, oh, I got it wrong. The top part needs to be darker. Okay, and that's it. Now in the next lesson, we're going to talk about curves. This is a complex thing to measure, but it is possible, and I'm going to teach you how. So, see you in the next lesson.